Hello and welcome to Family Craft. This is Family Craft Dad. I am here on the Highlands Park area and look, look, everything's being built. It's so much fun, but I have some work to do, don't I? I have a lot of work to do. I need to finish up the top of this build and maybe get started on some of the gameplay. So yeah, we're just going to go right on into it. I am excited. I hope you guys are as well. I will catch you guys in a minute. <laughs> All right. So I have gotten pretty far with this. However, I've just discovered something. I got working on this peak and I hit F3. And yeah, that long thing right there, that goes right up to build limit. And I plan to be about 10 blocks higher than that. So yeah, I'm going to have to try to figure something out for that. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. I think, I think it's probably best to just get started and change it as I go. Uh, if I just sit here and stare at it, I'll just stare at it forever and never get anything done. And that, that's, that, that doesn't work. So I will catch you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully I'll have something to show you when I get back. <laughs> Otherwise I'll have failed and I'll be like, yeah, let's just tear it all down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I made the tower and that's, that's as high as it could go. That's, and it looks terrible. It's, it's just, it looks good, but it's, it's not the right height. It needs to go like five or 10 blocks higher and it'd be perfect. Perfect. I tell you, but it's not, it can't. Ah, all right. So I, I have a thought if I can't raise it higher, that means I'm going to have to make this lower somehow. Which means basically I got to take that section there and lower about about four blocks. I think will do the job just to make it slightly lower so that that gets a little more prominent and that should do it. I hope because as of right now, that just, that's not a spire. That's not a top of a wizard tower spire. I'm so disappointed. Why Mojang? Why don't you have an infinite height? I know it'd be laggy. <laughs> it'd be terrible, but it would be so nice to just be able to build that up a little higher. Oh, well. All right. I'm over it. I'm over it. I got to work on that. That that's the thing I got to do. All right, guys. So here's the deal. I, uh, I brought this down and it didn't look any better. So I brought it back up. Um, I realized that was not going to fix it. In fact, it made this section look worse. So I got to thinking and it's actually been about three or four days since we last saw each other because I've been thinking so hard on this thing. I didn't know what to do. So I ended up making a music video. I hope you guys enjoyed that last week, but yeah, I now have an idea. I actually have a really good idea. In fact, I have already built my idea over on the creative server, which is where we're going to go right now. And boom, there he is in all his glory. That is VV from Final Fantasy IX. I spent all night last night working on him, and what do you guys think? <laughs> I love this guy. This has always been one of my favorite characters, and I am just so happy to be putting him on top of my wizard tower. And I have some really cool ideas. There's a reason why his hand is sticking out right there, uh, because he's going to be doing some cool stuff. I'm... Uh, I'm so happy with this guy. I didn't think I'd do this well building him. Um... I just posted them on Reddit earlier to, uh, well, last night, and it, it didn't do so well. One trick about Reddit I've learned, do not post things at night. Uh, people don't tend to upvote it, and then it loses its new status. And even if people upvote it a little bit, it never goes up high and no one catches on. So I had a feeling a lot of people would have liked him, but no one saw him, and I'm not going to post him again. So anyways, yeah. I love him. Um, now I'm just realizing there's a little bit of a change I want to do because he has like some, some little stuff right here like that. Will that do it? Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Cause he has like a little bit of a, a string kind of thing. Actually, you know what? We could take this even a step further and put it like that. Uh, yeah, I guess. No, that looks too uniform. I think I liked it better with just the three. Maybe just that. Maybe that'll do it. I mean, I know that's not his actual outfit, but uh, yeah, let's just leave it with the three. Sorry for hemming and hawing there. So now what I got to do is first, I need to collect all the wool. I need a bunch of wool. I need some hardened clay, which I already have. I just need to dye it up. And... 
yeah, my wife told me I should probably use Schematica to bring him in, which what that will do, if you don't know what it is already, it will basically allow me to create like a little image of this guy and overlay him into the actual survival world. And that way I have like a template to work off of. Um, this guy is full of stuff inside. I'm probably not going to, you know, include that clearly because there's no need to. Um, <laughs> let's keep them hollow. But yeah, other than that, I think I am done. This guy is awesome. I am ready to go get all the materials and see if we can bring them into the world. I love this guy. I hope you guys enjoy him too. <laughs> I hope he looks good on top of the tower. We'll see. <laughs> all right, guys, here we are at the shearing farm for the sheep. And uh, yeah, we need some wool. We need some serious wool. And the problem was, is that Tall Bunny did a fantastic job building this thing. However, it was a bit too big for the AI to know, hey, I need to walk over there. So they kept trying to walk back. And I just watched Exuma's video today and it gave me an idea to try to fix this thing. And it seems to be working all right. I mean, there, there's still some that are fighting the current. But basically what it is, is kind of putting little stoppers here so they can't walk too far. And as soon as they go in there, they get pushed this way. And that should push the sheep along. And so there's, as long as there's always sheep kind of shoving them in there, even if you have some rebellious ones, they kind of get bumped back. So that's why you put the little water streams in there. And it seems to be working a lot better. I mean, it's not super quick. But it doesn't have to be too fast because they have to have enough time to eat the food and enough time for the grass to grow and all that fun stuff. So, I think we've done it. Now, the one thing I have to add that she did not put in here is the shear dispenser. It's just, you get you grab a shear, you run out, you come back every now and again, make sure to replace it. Um, that's, not, that's not great for like overnight AFKing. So, hmm, they look a little stuck, don't they? Oh no, they're coming, they're coming. The horde is coming. There's just a little bit of a gap there in there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, it's not so good for overnight AFKing. Basically what you gotta do is you set up a little dispenser for shears to shoot out. And the idea is that it'll keep on shooting them out into hoppers that are here. And as long as you have your, your inventory completely full, it you won't pick it up. So it'll just go back in the hopper, go back into the dispenser and shoot out. And you get it to shoot out like every 10 seconds or so. And basically what that'll do is once your shear runs out, you'll have an empty space in your inventory and boom, you picked it up and you can keep on shearing automatically. So that is the mechanic. Um, the hard part is uh, fitting it in here. Make sure I don't ruin anything that Tall Bunny's already put in here. I think she's got a mass storage down there. So we have to make sure not to break that. But other than that, yeah, let's let's add that thing and see if we can get a bunch of wool. There's already a handful, but as you saw, I needed a lot of blue. And yeah, she's lacking blue here. And I figured I'd help everybody out and, you know, get this thing running and get a whole lot of everything. So we could fill all these chests up with lots and lots of awesome wool. And yeah, that should be a wonderful thing. A little community service to the server I'm doing. And let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see if we can build this thing. <laughs> all right. FCD has done some redstone. And uh, yeah, this is the Ethonian, I believe, called <laughs> uh, Hopper Clock. Very basic. I learned it from Mumbo. And so basically the idea is this uh, redstone block here, um, it stops the hopper from transferring until it moves away. And the reason why it moves away is you got these comparators that are coming up with whether or not there's anything in there. And once it comes to zero, it'll move this guy and unlock the one. So it goes back and forth, back and forth, causing a clock, which I am now using here. Let me get up here to power my dispenser and my uh, dropper, which is just under it. Which, what that is doing is in here, you got all these hoppers here, right? And so this is going to fire off a shear every now and again. As long as you keep your inventory full, it fills up. I think I, I mentioned that before. So once this thing runs out, I'll have an empty space and boom, I'll have it. And of course, this comes with a nice on off switch. So without further ado, let's get some shearing done. <laughs> Thank you, sheep. You guys are awesome. Look at this. I've got everything I need for the guy. I just need to get a few bits of hardened clay and I'll have everything I need. I'm so excited about this guy. 
But off we go. I am going to be heading off to another storage unit area where I believe we have a bunch of hardened clay ready to go. So I'll be able to dye that all up, get it to the size and such I want. Size, color. Color is what I'm going for. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm ready to go. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. All right, I'm back here at the park and I have all the other things I need to build this guy. I got all the wool, all the things. Yeah. And I've got schematic to work, as you just saw. That's what he's going to look like up there. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. So I'm going to go up there. I'm going to build this guy. And it's going to be amazing. Just. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is going to be cool. All right. I'm going to grab this stuff. And we're going to head on up there. And build this thing. Yeah. Let's do it. So, what do you guys think of that? <laughs> I had a lot of fun making that song. Yes, that was my voice doing the choir. Hopefully, you heard my wife's voice as well, Family Craft Mom. Uh, she is feeling a little under the weather and, you know, the timing is just not right. She might feel better soon. And then that means you heard her voice. If not, you didn't. And there will be a version of it with her voice in the future for either future episodes or at least just on my SoundCloud. But anyways, yeah, I have some more work to do. I don't plan to leave him just kind of floating there. Let's fly up here. As you guys saw, he's kind of up on a pedestal. Well, not really yet. <laughs> I have to decide. See, I, I could make like a little pedestal here and have him stand on it. Or I can make it like he is flying. So like somehow do little flamey type things out of the bottom of his feet. I think that is what I want to do. It's going to be magical and fun. Actually, I, I kind of want it to make it look like he started back here and he like jumped up there. And as you'll see soon, that hand is going to be shooting something out in this direction. And it's going to be awesome. I, I, I put a lot of work into this guy. I'm not going to lie. And I know my time is running thin. I spent most of the week working on that silly song you just heard. <laughs> but, you know, hey, totally worth it. At least I hope so. Let me know if you guys liked it down in the description. Or not the description, the comment section. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on working on this guy. I have I have plans. I have plans. I'm going to have to keep on working on him. <laughs> all right. Well, I've got myself all of the glass I need. And actually, there's, there's some more, but I think that's all I'll need. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to do the purple magenta thing down for his feet, but I'm going to get started using doing his hand. That's what's important to me. I may still put him on a pedestal. I'm not sure, but I want to do the fire. Now, one thing I just realized, I may not have scaffolding blocks. Nope, I don't. Getting some scaffolding blocks. <laughs> All right, got my scaffolding blocks. And uh, yeah, I cleared out my inventory. As you saw earlier, it was a bit of a mess from various projects I was working on in the server. And now I am ready to go because I've got my, yeah, I got I got everything I need. Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. Now, you guys probably already saw this in a little replay, but I want to see it. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Oh, that's doing the job. Of course, I don't. I gotta see it at night. I want to see what that looks like at night. But yeah, that's not bad. Now, I was I was kind of hoping to do a little more distance with this. What am I standing on? Oh, this one. I was like. I'm not on that block. That's not that's not possible. Um, now I'm thinking I might want to extend it a little bit further out. Uh, let's take a look from over here. I'm not sure, but I think I'm happy with it as it is currently. It looks like he's starting a fireball. Yeah, it, it's not quite as intense as I want it. You know, I want it to kind of fill the sky a bit. So I'm going to let it be at that for now. Um, I'm quite happy with that. I kind of want to get started on the the fullness of this build as soon as possible. And yeah, also, we've kind of run out of episode, haven't we? <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You know I have. And if you really liked it, go hit that like button. And I'd really love it if you were to subscribe. But this has been FamilyCraft. Toodle!